on the flat it feels fine the moment you go downhill game over your toes are screaming stop i want to get off the moment of truth just how dry did this jacket keep me i've been wanting to get these trainers for quite some time but i haven't got around to it yet and to be brutally honest with you i don't really know that much about the technical details about them i don't really care all i want to know is do they hurt my feet when i run and how long are they gonna last so today is the maiden voyage next week six days is my next race 50 miler 50 miler brecon beacons come out them fans pegasus edom on tour it's gonna be cheeky um and these are the plans these are the shoes I plan on using. Morning. Are we here, all right? Oh, yeah. yeah, these are the shoes I plan on using. And uh, <coughs> a couple of weeks ago, I actually went into runner's needs. I got my feet measured. My left foot is 10.1. And my right foot is 9.6. Bit of an odd difference. Probably that's why I keep getting black toes on my left hand side. Anyway, I've gone for size 10.5. So we'll see how these hold up. Straight out of the box. Hocker, hoker, whatever you want to call it. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Ah. Renowned for being really bouncy and very cushioned out of the box. Now, as with every change of shoe, your body's going to feel a little bit different. So if you didn't know that, if you change trainer brand, then muscles that you didn't know you had will start to feel a little bit of fatigue. Just whilst the legs get used to the shoes. Now, the speed got five. Straight out of the box. They have this signature hocker bounce and comfort. It's literally like running on clouds. The feeling of running in these shoes is like it gives you an automatic sense that your knees are protected because of the cushion and I'm on a mixture of terrain and it's pushing me forward very nicely the pace is a lot faster smoother in these shoes than what it would be in a lot of other shoes like my North Face so straight out the box like I said I've gone for 10.5 they feel like a typical hawker as I call them or hoker um, shoe wood nice comfortable bouncy responsive only time will tell if it starts any niggles so that's point one at the moment first impressions half hour in my feet are responding well. Are they comfy? What runs can I use them for? Let's talk about the shoe downhill. Now, what some people wouldn't consider is that a trainer reacts differently to what terrain is on. So you could have a trainer that feels good on the flat, but then when you come to go downhill, crushes your toes now for me this is the speed cross solomon only because they run a little tight on the flat it feels fine the moment you go downhill game over your toes are screaming stop i want to get off these they are spot on 
I've just done quite a lengthy downhill, maybe two and a bit miles. Downhill, mixture of terrain, tarmac, gravel, mud, and they are perfect. I've not done the runner's knot, and they feel epic. So downhill is a win. Now, we've got to do the three mile back up, 6K to the car, so yeah. About three miles. Let's see how they are on the app. Now, I'm not sure how much I can string together whilst running up this monster. Not sure. As you can tell, I've just come back from Portugal and I got a bit of a post holiday cold. Oh definitely affecting my chest but on the up again they feel springy off the toe they're not holding me back on the heel and yeah it just seems like it's a neutral running position and by that I mean when you're running uphill automatically it's the gate that you should be running at. Um, so it just feels natural. <clears throat> Although the fitness doesn't. Oh. I'm not sure how much this is good. How much this is going to disperse by the time it comes to next weekend. But yeah. But best way to get rid of it like that's sweat it out, right? Anyway, onwards and upwards. Cheers! Mm. Okie dokie. Final thoughts about the run. Well, I'm quite surprised actually because they kept my feet dry and there's not that much wear there. Um, I suppose if you wanted, I'm not into that stack height, what form it uses, what response rate you get. Does it make my feet hurt? No. How long are they gonna last? That's a key factor for me. How much is it going to cost me per mile? 140 quid to buy. 400 miles, hopefully, so we'll see. Um, yeah, they feel good. I'm happy with that. Oh. Run done. I'm going to go and grab a coffee from Greg's. I still haven't given you a chance to so I haven't had a chance to give you a little van tour of my camper van that I bought for this purpose. Um, this needs to go in a skip, but good run.